Discrepancies? Described in one sentence. Hype as fuck. Man, discrepancies so good, straight out of St. Louis, represent. You gotta check them out. These guys fucking rock. First time seeing them live. Amazing! Yeah! It's 3 a.m. We're packing for Point Fest. <laughs> Guys, we've been up since 4. I'm Gary Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> Pumped for tomorrow. It's going down. West Side? We, it was really cool. we pulled up to Salt Lake City at the venue. All the gates were closed for where we were supposed to park. So there was a building that had a very nice parking lot and had a bunch of lights on it. So it looked like it'd be secured somewhere we could crash for the night. Wake up at 7 a.m., go load in, and set up for, uh, for Warp Tour. We're gonna go check in for Warp Tour. We slept at a police dispatch parking lot last night. We got woken up by the cops, so it's pretty lit. Litty lit. Lit. What Warp Tour did for us is prove that we can make it through anything because that was a rough few days. It was like Addis said, it was like, you know, 8 a.m., 7 a.m. every day. It's hot every day. You're going off basically no sleep. Like the bands that do that whole tour out of a van without like a full crew and stuff, like props, props to them. Check, check, one, two, check, check. I think it's awesome. Center. Yeah. So it was my first warp tour and I got to play it and it's the last one. So that's like the trifecta. Also, the fact that you have to fight for your crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to fight to get those people's attention because they're they have to pass your stage to get to the stage that they actually want to go see. <laughs> they're like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to the bathroom, they're going to the concession stands, they're going to see whoever's on the big stages. So a lot of the cities that we performed at, there was like nobody in front of us. But by the end of the first song, we had a big crowd and we actually like earned that crowd and had to fight for it and then show them what we can do. Discrepancies are is a really cool band and they keep evolving to get better and better. If you're on Warp Tour and you haven't seen Discrepancies or if you haven't seen Discrepancies yet, you're messing up. You need to see them as soon as possible. Dar came from Ireland to 
come see us. Darn, where'd you come from? Why did you come here today? See the bombs? <laughs> Warp Tour was definitely um, getting to hang out with all the other bands. Like all the other bands were very down to earth and like cool. Super, super chill guy. Like we met uh, the dudes from Issues. We met Twisted at the after party in Denver. Like so many different artists that are just like taking over the world that we got to meet and just talk to. Like we've been friends for years. Honestly, I just wish we had more time so we could hang out with people longer and get to know each other. Obviously the opportunity to play Warp is great for us, uh, something we'd all been looking forward to. You know, for uh, a bucket list item, play Warp at some point, being out there and actually getting to do it, really puts a lot of respect as far as any of the bands that have done it for years and years, or done the full tour this year, even just that by itself, because it is a grind. I mean, every morning, 7 a.m., there till I mean, 10 or 11, usually at night by the time we got out, and then repeat once you make it to the next stop, you know, depending on how far that drive is. There's a lot of people that stayed to check out, you know, new music, and it's cool, it's like refreshing to know that people uh, still want to find new bands and still go to work for to find their new favorite band. There's so many stories from this, this run, it's awesome that we were able to go out there. We really appreciate anybody that came by and checked out our set because it was a grueling couple days. Um, and for me, it was just super inspirational. 